Let's talk about how to spot the signs of an emotionally unavailable man early on to save you the time and heartache of being involved with someone that's most likely unable to give you the attention and affection you want. Have you noticed how often movies and TV shows tend to romanticize the emotionally unavailable man? These stories start with men who are charming and good looking and smart, and yet they come with a mysterious past that prevents them from having romantic connections. And then by the end of the movie, these men change thanks to a woman's patience, understanding, and sheer willpower. But real life is rarely, if at all, like this. In fact, the one thing that resembles real life in these films is the fact that you'll most likely end up feeling hurt and crying as you try to unsuccessfully establish a connection with someone who's not ready for a relationship, a truly devoted partnership. Hi, I'm Nadine Peart, a confidence dating and lasting attraction coach for smart, savvy women and the founder of Healthy You, Healthy Love. Now before we continue, please be sure to comment right below and let me know if there's anything specific that you'd like help with and if there's a topic you'd like me to do a video on. I want to find out who you are and what your needs are so I can support you on your path to big, sexy love. And if you're new and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and the bell button to get notified of my next video. Now let's get to it. Now before I share the signs that he's an emotionally unavailable guy, you must know that there's a distinction worth mentioning. Some men simply do not seem to have the ability to fully and wholeheartedly commit to a woman. They never have have and are unlikely to ever be devoted, vulnerable and available to one woman or any woman. And on the flip side, there are men that are not quintessentially unavailable, yet you're meeting them at the wrong time in their life. They're going through something that is hindering them to commit to anyone at this time. The reason I share this is it doesn't really change the outcome and yet how you deal with an unavailable man will determine whether he sorts himself out and comes back when he's ready or not. Of course, a man who's never been fully available will perhaps make an effort or chase you again when you pull away, though he will keep pulling away when he thinks he's got you. Bottom line, if he's not emotionally ready for a relationship, then these following signs will reveal where you stand and give you the information you need to either address your concerns, accept what he's offering or walk away. First up, number one, stuck in the past. He will talk about his past relationships in an emotionally charged way. At some point, past relationships will figure into the conversation. Listen to how he talks about his previous partners, as this is a clear indicator of whether he's emotionally available to let you, a new partner, into his life. I'm not saying that you should only date someone who has zero emotional baggage. We all have some emotional triggers and baggage, even a tiny amount. And yet, plenty of people have moved on to new partners without letting that baggage affect their current relationships. When talking about his past relationships, does he sound angry? Is he resentful? Does he like listing down all of the wrong things that his ex did to him? Does he like pointing fingers without reflecting on what he may have also done? Remember that someone who has moved on from the past will be able to talk about previous relationships in an uncharged and healthy way. This involves accepting their mistakes and focusing more on the lessons they learned. They're also at that point where they have forgiven the other person and themselves. Cells. A man who's emotionally available understands that to be able to move forward with their love life, they have to be free of the past. If they haven't yet learned their lessons or let go of the drama, then there's a good chance that he will repeat that same cycle. Only this time, it involves you. The next point is number two, no future planning. Non-commitment is a pretty straightforward sign. Some guys may take the upfront road and say he's just looking for something casual, while others may take the roundabout road and say things like he'll be ready for a relationship once we get to know each other more. Either way, if he runs for the hills as soon as you tell him you want to take the next step in your relationship, 
then you know he's not in it for the long haul. A man who's emotionally available will be honest about his intentions. He'll let you know that he wants to pursue a long-term committed relationship with you. He also won't lead you on with promises of what the future may look like if certain conditions are met. Instead, he'll love talking about what your life together will look like and he won't cringe when you suggest to perhaps plan a holiday together in a few months time or perhaps ask what his view on marriage and kids is. Of course, relationships can move at very different speeds and I don't recommend you suggest planning a holiday far into the future when you've just met. And yet, if there's no future talk and planning after at least a number of months, there's a good chance he has no plans. If you're tired of men not committing and wondering if there's anything you're doing or not doing that's standing in the way of you experiencing that yummy romantic kind of love, then I have the perfect gift for you. It's called five easy ways to get a man to commit and stay committed. I reveal five foundations for rocking love and deep commitment and some of the points may surprise you. You can access it right now in the link below in the description. So on to our third point number three, is his way or the highway? When you tell him what you want in your relationship, let's say you want to have date nights or regular communication, how does he react? Does he listen to you or does he outright reject your relationship requirements? If he acts like the parameters of your relationship should be in his and only his terms, or if he disrespects your requirements by overreacting or negatively reacting to it, or he tells you the things you wanna hear with no follow through, then you know he's not emotionally available. Being in a committed relationship means the two of you are willing to work together. An emotionally available man understands the value of teamwork in building a lasting relationship, so he will not reject your reasonable requests. Even if he disagrees with you, he'll talk to you with respect and be careful to not hurt you with his words. He'll sit down with you and find a compromise instead of running away or imposing his own terms. Our next point is number four, vulnerability is a no-go. He will not share his feelings effectively. Is your man vulnerable to you one day and then withdraws that emotional connection the next? Do you feel like you're cracking the code to some top secret government plan when you're trying to guess how he feels? If dating this man feels very push, pull, yes, no, he wants you, then he doesn't want you, then this is very important. Do not ignore this, and it's hard to ignore as the push-pull cycle is often emotionally draining and even painful. Someone who's emotionally available will be consistent in his affections and be able to clearly communicate what it is that they feel. Even if he's unsure of what he's feeling or thinking and not bringing up what's concerning him of his own volition, if you ask him, he will talk to you about what's going on for him and reveal his vulnerabilities to you. He understands that sharing emotions is a way for the two of you to be closer to each other and strengthen the relationship, and thus he's willing to do it. He also won't pretend that he's on top of everything all the time. He knows that he'll need your help to figure things out sometimes, and that letting you guess his feelings won't help your relationship at all. Lastly, there's a very good chance that you're dating an emotionally unavailable man if he says one thing and does another. His actions will not align with his words. You'll notice that his promises are often broken and over time it gets to a point where you can't trust what he says because he keeps going back on his word. An emotionally available man, on the other hand, will be reliable and will follow through on commitments. From simple things like showing up on time during date nights, and if he is late, he'll let you know, to the big things like working on being a better partner for you. You can trust that you're there for each other and both of you are able to show up with kindness, compassion, and a lot of love. If you can see these five signs with your current man, consider it your wake up call that yes, he is what you perhaps thought an emotionally unavailable partner. I know you want to make him commit to you and love you wholeheartedly, and yet you can't force anyone to do anything. Inspire yes, force no. So yes is important to talk about what you value in a relationship to see if deeper understanding allows you both to be on the same page. But if you're not, then you're not. I know that a strong attraction to someone can cloud judgment and see us putting up with unkindness and subpar behavior. Though attraction or superficial chemistry is not compatibility. It's not emotional awareness. 
It's not love. You deserve to be with a man who isn't afraid to be vulnerable with you, who will treat you with common courtesy, and someone who will fulfill his promises. And that is what I want for all of you ladies out there. In fact, my program Never Lose Him goes into great details as to why you might be attracted to the wrong types of men and how to never do this again. In this program, I share two critical modules character versus personality and potential versus reality. If you finally want to attract the perfect man into your life and if you're ready to have a truly loving, tender and passionate relationship, then click below on the link for Never Lose Him in the description. This program is not only for attracting the right man, it gives you tools to be confident and captivating to the best men and teaches you how to keep the relationship you want with that gorgeous, sexy man. Well, that's it for today's video. Please comment below and let me know if what I shared in this video relates to the man you're dating right now. Also, if you have any tips of your own, please share them with me and my community. And while you're at it, please do subscribe to this channel as this will allow me to keep creating these videos for you. Just hit the subscribe button below this video and the bell button to get notified of my new videos every week. And of course, don't forget that thumbs up. If you have a friend who you think is dating someone who's emotionally unavailable, please share this with them as it might be the very video they need to see to be free of this situation so that they can move on and start a beautiful relationship with a man who's there for them and 100% devoted. It's been a great honor to to have you here with me. I encourage you to choose to show love a little more in some way every day and see you again at my next video.